good morning it's Friday the 22nd of March and I've been working from home for around 10 weeks and I thought I'd show you what a typical day is like for us now wake up at around five spend around two hours with the dogs take the train and be back home at around six by that time Yori will have done something with the dogs and um, after dinner it's my time again and then basically we're off to bed um, but now the days are very different um, we happen to have woken up quite early today because it's been very hot so we wanted to get a lot of exercise in before um, temperatures were too high. We're currently on a walk with Venus, a hike with Venus, but Mojo had some fun before as well. She used the spring pole to get rid of some exercise. She's not coming on this hike because it's a place where there's a lot of off-leash dogs, which she doesn't like. I've been waking up between seven and eight and starting work somewhere between eight and 10-ish. I can take small, like relaxing breaks to make coffee and stuff like that, but other than that, usually, um, <clears throat> I have to make my starting time to finish for nine hours so that means that sometimes I will start uh, stop 11 hours after I started just because I take a lot of breaks at home it's quite easy to um, get distracted and I think it's important to take a lot of breaks and enjoy the nice weather that we have so that's why usually my finishing time is quite late but that's all right um, and today I'll be starting at around I would say 9 30 or so because the hike is around 10 to 12 kilometers, maybe a bit longer. That will be seven or eight miles, I think. It's just nice for the dogs as well that we're home. They get more interaction like indoors, but also they spend more time outside at the moment. So since uh, Venus is a sports bred Staffordshire Bull Terrier, she is very energetic, which is what we bought her for. We love that, but it does mean that she tires, um, well, she doesn't really tire. And um, this means that it's definitely on the hot days. Um, it's clever to get a lot of exercise in in the morning before it gets too hot. Um, so running off lead and stuff, having a bit of, uh, yeah, having some things to explore. I think that's nice because it's not just the body that gets challenged, it's also the brain. All right, here we are. This is um, an area where dogs are off leash. And it's nice and quiet. You can keep distance from people, which is always nice, but um, to get some calm. But at the moment it's necessary as well. So it's perfect.
do like that despite the fact that she's a, a terrier and she's young and basically loves everything or at least has a form of interest in everything um, which is not always love uh, she uh, has a great recall and uh, can nicely walk beside us um, when we encounter a cyclist or someone running and that comes in handy in the off-leash areas where you also have like uh, routes for people on horses routes for cyclists and that's basically what we have this entire route though it's very calm today uh, usually we use some food but I forgot to take it uh, but I actually like that the dog can listen without food so uh, she's been doing really well today on the way back home I think it will be like I said like 40 30 minutes I don't know probably be home around mm, 9 9 15 or so and then it's time for breakfast A couple of days ago we received a parcel from uh, Bellabox, which is a Dutch company. They ship in a couple um, European countries at the moment. Um, but it was not for me. Look, it's from Mojo and Venus. Today, Steffi style, they are allowed to open it, not me. Hi! Hello! Okay, go get it! Come on! Venus. It's now 2 p.m. I've worked half of my shift approximately. Um, I'm not fixed to a specific like office hours. Uh, it's an office job uh, and I'm very lucky. I do realize that I can now work from home. Um, but um, I just have to work a number of hours and it doesn't really matter when I do it. Um, so I can spread it out. Um, that means that I'm now after having had lunch, worked for a bit, I can now go for a walk with uh, both of them. Mojo usually also gets a long walk in the mornings, but today it's just a different plan. And Mojo doesn't get a lot of sports when it comes to like fetch and frisbee because she has bad joints. So everything for her is adjusted. But today I think I might let her play with a basketball because she loves that. So I'm gonna get that one out after I take them both for a short walk. with work for the day Ow. Um, it's around 7 and it's now time for a pre-dinner walk 
um, when we get back uh, Venus will get some time to play outside um, probably with a flirt pole and then we will have dinner and it's their turn afterwards So that was all the fun for today. It's time for their dinner now and then they will have a, a walk before um, bedtime of course as well. Marta, no, Shita, bleib. And just like there was no good intro to the video, I did not film the ending. The dogs ate and we had a good glass of whiskey to start the weekend and that was it. Um, that's usually how the Fridays end. Of course every single day is different and we don't go to that forest every single day because as you know it was like two, two and a half hours or something that uh, that we spent going there. But we do like to keep it like very different every day and uh, do have a lot of exercise and outdoor time. I still work from home now, it's um, the 14th of June. I'm filming this as it's uploaded. Um, and I have been working from home since the middle of March. So it has been three months and it will continue for a bit. Um, I am very lucky that I can work from home. I do realize that. Um, and I hope that for many of you, you still have a job, you have, a in have an income, or at least you have found somewhere else to work. Um, and if not, I'm very, very sorry to hear. Um, but I do hope that everything turns out all right, despite the weird circumstances at the moment. All right, that was it. Take care.